Breaking news today in the ongoing Hockey Canada story, another of the organization's premier sponsors pulling out over its handling of sexual assault allegations. This is a new development that's driving fresh questions about the future of the organization. TELUS is now dropping its support. That news coming out just minutes ago. So TELUS joins Scotiabank and Tim Hortons in taking a further step back from Hockey Canada. All are cutting their sponsorship of men's hockey for the entire season, and that includes the men's junior team. It means their brands won't be seen at Hockey Canada's prestige event, the World Junior Hockey Championships, to be played in Halifax and Moncton this December. Revelations about group sexual assaults involving members of national junior teams are at the center of this controversy, but the organization continues to hold out against demands for change at the top over its handling of the sexual assault allegations, including criticism from the Prime Minister. Hockey Canada's tone deafness to the fact that they have lost the confidence of Canadians uh, needs to end, which is why we stopped funding them, which is why we're calling for change. Now, you're looking here live at Ottawa, and that's one of the places where this story will likely further develop today. Federal cabinet ministers meet this morning, and we'll be there with cameras and waiting for them, watching and listening for comments as they head into that session in our 9 o'clock Eastern hour today. Hillary Johnston, though, on the story for us once more in our parliamentary bureau, looking into this corporate side. Again, tell us now three sponsors and two of the premier sponsors Hillary, tell us the very latest. That's right, Heather. And that means that now, as you say, two of those four premier sponsors have cut ties. Uh, one of the other ones, so Imperial Oil, which owns that Esso brand, has put out a statement saying that uh, it's monitoring the situation, but it hasn't made a final decision. So TELUS, Scotiabank and Tim Hortons. I want to bring you a little bit uh, of some of those statements that we've heard from those brands, starting here with the most recent TELUS saying, quote, we are deeply disheartened by the lack of action and commitment from Hockey Canada to drive drive necessary cultural change. TELUS will not be sponsoring the Hockey Canada men's hockey programs for the 2022-2023 season. That's something that we've heard from all of them. Tim Hortons as well, saying that we're deeply disappointed in the lack of progress that Hockey Canada has made to date. Imperial Oil, so that would be uh, owning Esso here, saying that this matter is deeply concerning and we have communicated our expectations to Hockey Canada that concrete steps must be taken, taken rather, but also saying that they have not made a final decision yet. So still a lot to watch for here today, Heather, whether or not this continues to develop. Of course, we are expecting that we might hear from some of those cabinet ministers at some point as well. Now, on this uh, sort of topic of corporate sponsorship, what we have heard from some, including from some Conservative MPs, is that that might be the best way to pressure Hockey Canada into change, especially after what we saw and heard earlier this week with the interim board chair, Andrea Skinner, very defiant, saying that, in their view, leadership does not need to change, answering questions at a parliamentary committee over the handling of some of these alleged group sexual assaults and also the handling of those funds that have come to light uh, that were made with the help of some of those fees that parents right across the country pay every year, funds that existed that could be used to pay out claims for some of these alleged incidents. So I want to bring you now a little bit more of what we heard heard from one Conservative MP talking about the fact that it might be these corporate sponsors that sort of change things here, that tip the balance uh, to pressure Hockey Canada to take a closer look at itself. Here's what we've heard. What has to happen, and I think everybody realizes this, the sponsorships like Canadian Tire, like Tim Hortons, Scotia, uh, Scotiabank, have to withdraw their sponsorship of Hockey Canada. That is the only way that gets corrected. They have millions of dollars. They can weather the storm for years. And this has to happen, that the sponsors stand up to Hockey Canada. That is the only way this gets rectified. And Heather, of course, we don't always hear members of the various political parties on the same side on certain issues, but certainly on this, we have heard from members uh, with the NDP, with the Conservatives, of course, with the Liberals as well, all in agreement that something needs to change here. Now, what about the provinces? We're watching, certainly, Hillary, to see if any other provincial associations follow the examples yesterday of Hockey Quebec, the Ontario Hockey Federation, in cutting funds to Hockey Canada. Any more news in that part of the story? 
Well, we've heard from some of these other provincial bodies saying that they're they're monitoring the situation. Hockey Nova Scotia, for example, has a, mo a board meeting next week. They say that they might have more to say after mm. that. Uh, Hockey Saskatchewan, as another example, says that at this point it doesn't have any comment to make. Uh, and the BC Hockey Federation has also said that it is taking a look at what is happening here and it might have more to say at some point as well. But what we've heard from some, including former NHL player and advocate Sheldon Kennedy, is that those provincial bodies and territorial territorial bodies that they can have an impact here. So here's a little bit of what we've heard. It's not so much about, you know, the funds being a, a terrible thing, I don't think. I think they were maybe put in reason in, in, in place for the right reasons, I assume. It's about including all of the member partners across this country and making those decisions. Those are the individuals that reach all of those kids in the grassroots, in their communities, in every corners of our country. And we have to include them in decision making when we make decisions at a national governing body. So, Heather, of course, we have watched this story develop throughout the week and later this morning, expecting to hear possibly more from some of those federal cabinet ministers. We will be there as they arrive on the Hill. Thank you so much, Hillary Thank Johnstone. You.